And renovations are underway at North Eugene High School. Yes, that's the same high school that just reopened its doors a few months ago. The district is now making repairs after the building experienced water damage following the ice storm. KEZI 9 News reporter Jennifer Singh shows us how the damages have impacted not just the building, but also the students within. The brand new North Eugene High School just opened in the fall after years of anticipation and construction. But repairs are already needed for serious damage caused by the ice storm. During the recent ice storm, the building was hit pretty hard with water intrusion. We had a lot of damage done to our, a lot of our performing arts area, our um, choir room, banner room, a lot of flooding that happened, you know, some of the um, the walls um, kind of got messed up a little bit and then it, it obviously impacted a lot of the flooring as well and then in the commons area as well there were some leak that some leaks that happened and um, were hitting the floor as well too. Principal Naeem Munoz tells me the damage was so bad the school play that was scheduled for last week had to be canceled. Anything that water hit and damage. We have that's got to get replaced and we got to make sure it's safe. There's no mold and things like that. And Jenna McCauley with Eugene School District 4J tells me the repair process will take about a month. They still don't know how much it'll cost and they're working with contractors and its insurance to figure out what will be covered under warranty and what might have to come out of the district's pocket. Students are still on campus, but Principal Munoz says at the moment, roughly 10 to 12 percent of the school is blocked off, including the auditorium. You know, our performance, performance art students are definitely being impacted the most, but um, um, our staff has been wonderful. They've been very adaptable, and um, they understand that this is something that we don't have control in. We're just doing our best by, by the situation. Coming up on KEZI 9 News at 5, I'll show you how students and staff are adapting as construction continues around them. Reporting in Eugene, Jennifer Singh, KEZI 9 News.